Okay, so as children, we've probably seen at least one cartoon show, cartoon show in our lives, right? For some of us, we would watch these cartoons religiously, almost. You know, waking up early in the morning to watch them or staying up late to maybe catch like a rerun that you missed earlier in the day. For some of us, you know, we maybe watched one or two. It wasn't such a big deal. Now that we're adults, we really don't watch cartoons anymore. Or maybe you don't pay attention to them. But the format for cartoons nowadays is sort of changing. Some people think it's worse. Some people think it's dumb, you know. For example, like Spongebob. Some people think that, you know, it's just kind of lost its touch. And the newer cartoons are the same. But I don't think that's true. I think cartoons are changing and evolving in a really good way. Not only like comedy-wise, but story and uh, story-wise and like when it comes to representation. Things that maybe we didn't see as a kid. You know, so like, so like I don't really think that cartoons are declining in quality, but rather I think that they're increasing in quality. For example, there's a lot more representation in cartoons these days. Like Steven Universe has a lot of um, like same-sex couples, same-sex attraction, bisexuality, you know, things that challenge gender norms that we wouldn't have seen as a kid unless it was made fun of as a joke. But now it's used in a serious context and a more like casual way of introducing it. It's not like, oh my god, these characters, they're not straight. It's more like, hey, these characters aren't straight and that's okay. And for kids that are growing up sort of questioning whether or not, you know, if they are straight or maybe they're gay or bisexual or whatever, it really does help to see someone that they can relate to in the media. Or let's say like uh, another example would be Legend of Korra, who at the ending ended up having, the main character, Korra, ended up having a same-sex relationship with another woman, which has never really been done before at all. And, if, and nowadays there's more like, there's more of a character, there's a higher chance that you'll find a character that you can relate to, or maybe that you start to look like. Because now characters like, again, Steven Universe, they have a wide variety of body types, ethnicities, you know, things that you wouldn't have seen back in the day. And the reason for these changes, I think, is also because nowadays cartoons are being made by us, or millennials, in a sense, around the same age as us. Like the creator, like Rebecca Sugar, who is in her late 20s, is the first, fe first solo female creator for a TV show for Cartoon Network. And Alex Hirsch, another uh, millennial who's just turned 30, has, uh, has the highest had just his show Gravity Falls has just broke the uh, has just broke the record for the most watched show. It was two um, over two million viewers tuning in to see his second season premiere. Yes, second season premiere in the summer. And uh, all of this wouldn't have been possible like, for one cartoon show, which would be Adventure Time, because Pendleton Ward, who had previously sort of worked on online comics, eventually ended up being able to create a show which was completely different for, you know, its time period. Like, if you think, if you've seen Adventure Time, you know it's not the normal kind of show that you would have seen, like Dexter's Laboratory or Powerpuff Girls. And the owner of Channel Frederator, which created these shows, even admitted that he didn't want to uh, air Adventure Time or create it. But he realized that, he's, you know, this was a new wave of people and it was kind of shedding, and, in his words, he knew that it was like a new generation of animation that was being put into play. And lastly, I think also that cartoons nowadays have focused more on story and plot than just slapstick comedy. Which is, you know, slapstick comedy was fun, like Ren and Stimpy, or Cow and Chicken, or Rocko's Modern World, Mark and Fun Life back in the day, but I think it's also <laughs> important to realize that just because kids are kids, they can't it's not like they can't understand important story elements or, you know, realize or, you know, kind of absorb themselves in a story. They can be entertained more than just, you know, fart jokes and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think that cartoons have sort of increased in quality, especially animation-wise, and 
even though maybe we don't like it, it could just be because we don't like change. You know, we don't want to ruin our childhood, so to speak. But I really do think that these cartoons are not only better, but they're also helpful when it comes for kids growing up, for them to see, you know, people, characters they can relate to, stories that maybe they can relate to, events, and whatnot. So yeah, thank you for listening.